Consider this. When you flush your toilet, you don't even give a second thought to what happens to sewage water in the pipework, how fast it travels, or where it goes. But if you ever do, then you should hope that there will never come a day when everyone in the world flushes at the exact same moment. But let's talk about a less grand example first. Say, if you live in a separate house with two bathrooms, then flushing both of them at the same time won't do any harm at all. Now, that's boring. Let's upscale. You live in a big apartment building with centralized sewage system. In older buildings, especially outside the US, you can still find this kind of drawer that opens up on a really huge vertical pipe or soil pipe. That's where all the waste goes when you and your down and upstairs neighbors flush. May sound gross, but you can even hear the wastewater rushing past you when someone above presses the button. So imagine that the whole column just decided to flush at the exact same moment. There's a powerful waterfall occurring right in front of you, and it's good if it's just water. But people normally flush not just for the fun of it. So there's also toilet paper and um, other less savory substances. So it all rushes down at high speed and eventually gets into the general sewage system of the city. The pipes down below are much wider, so they could keep up with the flow. But even so, the average diameter of the largest pipe, which is the one that goes straight to the waste recycling station, is about 10 feet. That sounds like a lot, but it depends on the instant flow. I'll get there soon. Anyway, 12 stories of unanimous flushes. What happens first is probably howling, and that's kind of scary. The thing is that all this waste in water create a pressure that most pipes would not be able to withstand. So you'd be lucky if the pipe in front of you didn't burst right in your face. Hey, don't picture this. If the pipe handles it, though, it will still howl like crazy from all the strain. But when the waste reaches the wider sewage pipes, it will go further without much trouble. The piping will become gradually bigger in diameter because, obviously, it collects not only the waste from your building, but from all your neighborhood. And the further it goes, the more soil pipes it services. Like I mentioned earlier, the largest pipe is the central one, or several if you're in a big city, right before the waste disposal and recycling plant. It will need a really serious inflow to get clogged. And I mean the whole city level of serious. Now, imagine there's a town of 300,000 people. Let's call it, hmm, Flushington, Wyoming. Its government invented a new holiday called Flushington Flush Day. On this day, every citizen should honor the gift of civilization that is a sewage system and press the flush button at the exact same moment. The whole town is getting ready for the celebration. <laughs> Colors are flying, bands are playing, and the large clock at the central square counts down the last seconds before the big flush. 3, 2, 1, go! Everyone happily presses the button and the water starts flowing. Remember the howling I mentioned? Well, in a town of this population, it will probably not happen, with many people living in their own homes with separate sewage systems. But it doesn't mean nothing will happen at all, quite the contrary. At first, there will be absolute silence. Then, a kind of tremor, perhaps as the sewer system beneath the town tries to cope with the enormous flow. Just to put it in perspective, one flush ejects about 3.5 gallons of water, so that's 1,050,000 gallons of water for the whole Flushington, same as 1.5 Olympic swimming pools. And then, if you're lucky enough to be the resident, you'll see the wastewater rising back in your toilet, and fast! You turn to the wash bowl and the bathtub and get even more jittery. The foul-smelling stuff rises there, too, bubbling. You run into the kitchen, awaiting a disaster, and you're right. All the dishes you left for washing later are already half covered in the, uh, mm, let's call it dark water. You call the local plumber, but the line is busy. Everyone is apparently having the same problem as you. Not knowing what to do, you go to the window and, uh-oh, you see the manhole lids have burst from their places and the stuff from the sewers starts overflowing the streets. At the same time, you hear more bubbling from behind you, and you're afraid to turn around. But you have to. 
the sight is unpleasant to say the least. The washing machine you left plugged in and ready has overflown too. And to add insult to injury, there were clothes left in it. Bye bye my favorite t-shirt. The floor is rapidly getting covered in sewage water, and you have no other choice but to quickly slip on your mud boots and jump out the window of your house. Outside, although the air is fresher, the odor is still nauseating. You wade through the ever-rising, uh, dark water along with the other residents of the town, seeking a higher ground to wait out the worst of it. The whole town gathers on the highest hill. There are manholes here too, but the sewage waters don't overflow here because it's too high, thankfully. People are glaring at the government officials who proposed the idea in the first place. But everyone understands it's their own fault, too. You and the others watch your town flooded with wastewater until it finally subsides, which takes about an hour. After that, you grimly plod back down to count the losses and get to the cleaning. The Flushington Flush Day has been officially canceled from now on. Okay, that's one moderately populated town for you. But what if we take it even further and make it a world flush day? The TV and radio all across the globe count down the seconds before the huge event. Day or night, doesn't matter, we assume everyone has been waiting for this and is prepared to press the button. And there it is. The water merrily rushes down the pipes only to, you guessed it, get back to you. But since the stakes are much higher now, the backlash will probably be a lot more intense. You'd better stay away from anything connected to the sewage system, because the flow is going to become a spray. If you don't fall back at once, you're going to take a really stinky shower. But don't even think about running outside. In the first minutes after the big flush, it's not going to be safe. The manhole covers will pop into the air like soda bottle caps, and the whole city will look as if it's full of foul-smelling geysers. Well, maybe not, but we don't know for sure, right? Yet, the worst is still to come. The wastewater recycling facilities won't be able to cope with the stress, and the pipes there will burst too. Remember that 10-foot wide pipe I mentioned earlier? When it bursts, it will literally explode upwards, raining down lumps of earth and water. Be sure to stay as far as you can from there, will ya? Next, the flood will continue and it will probably turn into an absolute stinky tsunami. Oh, people will try to get as high as possible to save themselves from the smelly disaster. Mountainous regions will become the safest on the planet. People will hide on the peaks and in the hills until the worst ends. Flatlands dwellers won't be so lucky though, taking the brunt of the damage upon themselves. Houses will float and people will have to hang on for dear life. The flow will get steadily stronger, but in about a half an hour, it will start to subside. It's hard to imagine the amount of trouble it will have caused, but you can say for sure that it will cost a lot to everyone in the world. Recycling facilities and sewer pipe works will have to be repaired before anyone can use their bathrooms again. And that's not to mention the repairs necessary to restore the houses, parks, and whatever got in the way of the flush flood. All in all, the picture is as unpleasant as it sounds and smells. Well, I don't think that World Flush Day is a good idea after all. Do you? So, let's just flush that idea right now. Hey, if you learned something new today, then give the video a like and share it with a friend. And here are some other videos I think you'll enjoy. Just click to the left or right and remember, stay on the bright side of life. Bright side of life.